Our next nominee for the Kelloland Media Group Sanford Pentagon Boys Player of the Year is White River sophomore Joe Seiler. As Kelloland's Tanner Castora shows you, Seiler's rise to stardom has been years in the making. As a sophomore at White River, Joe Seiler has grown into a young and budding star. But years ago, his introduction into the program began with a humble beginning as a team manager. Filled up water bottles at practice, brought waters into the huddles at games, towels, uh, uh, picked up their jerseys after the game in the locker room, put them in the basket, everything. It was those type of experiences that ignited Siler's drive. Watching the guys up before me, I always wanted to be a bat, like a star high school player. Siler's stature in game would grow. By seventh grade, he found himself as a part of the varsity team with his older brother, Nick. It was nerve wracking. It was a fun experience though, being with the guys at State and just soaking it all in. After leading the Tigers and scoring as a freshman, he'd add a new element to his offensive attack in his second season. He's probably been one of our most uh, consistent dunkers. <laughs> he gets the chance, you know, he's athletic and he can get up and he's long and he can, he can dunk it and he gets the chance to do it. You know, it gets uh, the crowd psyched up or, or, or bench psyched up and all his teammates psyched up. This offseason, Siler plans to improve on the other side of the court. My ability to defend all game and not just at certain points of the game when we need defense, but just sitting down all game and being able to have that strength, uh, that dog mentality. He's grown a lot, really improved, but uh, you know, I know he, he uh, can improve even more and I know he'll be putting in the work to, to get even better. In White River, Tanner Castora, Kelo Land Sports. Siler averaged nearly 29 points and six rebounds per contest this season. He's currently verbally committed to play basketball at SDSU.